Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. The Lord is saying today, my child, refuse to allow discouragement, uncertainty, or worry to undermine or cloud your judgment in making the right decisions within this hour. But my child, rather walk in the Spirit and seek that secret place with me. I am calling you to come away with me, my child. That's right, come away with me and find that place that you will be able to stand within this hour. I know the disappointments and the feeling of derailment to my plans that were for you. But know that my plans are always best for you, even when they don't seem to make sense to you at the time. My child, allow me to plant you where I wish for you to be within this season. Come away with me. Yes, where your roots will go deeper and deeper into my love, my child. Yes, find that secret place with me so that you can get alone with me and can grow deeper into my word. Yes, so that you may flourish in my righteousness, my child. For as you yield yourself to me, I will cut off all the branches within your life that have not borne the fruit that my Father has desired. Know that when I have my hand upon your life, my child, I will handle those that also put their mouth on you. Yes, my child, allow me to take you to that deeper place that I'm calling you so that you can have the resilience to get through this season. I am coming back soon. So allow me to prepare you for the final touches. Yes, I am taking you into territory that you have not been before. But as you trust in me, I will make all things new, my child. Yes, those things will disappear from you like the morning dew. And opportunities will also present themselves in ways that you never thought. So get ready to break out of that confinement that your past may have within your thinking. For I will bring about what I desire to bring about within this season. Allow me to expand you beyond your ways of thinking. Yes, allow me to do a new thing within this hour, my child. Remember, how and when I have my hand upon your life is for me to decide and to lead you. I will handle those that have spoken bad against you. Yes, for I will silence every gossiper, every hater with lying lips, those that speak grievous things proudly and scornfully against you, my child. Allow me to fight your battles. Yes, I will arise, my child, and I will close the mouth of the lion. Therefore, remain faithful, for I am your vindicator, for I will heal you and I will bring about my purpose for your life. Therefore, let go of everything today that has produced stress within your life. For I'm about to do something and you must trust me more within this hour than you've ever done before. Remember with me, I'm always doing a new thing within your life. So allow me to lead you and to guide you within this hour. Even though you cannot see the end of the light at the tunnel, know that I am making a way where there seems no way. Therefore, be at peace this day, my child. Shalom. Praise the Lord, precious saints. The Bible says, according to 1 Corinthians 6 verses 19 to 20. It says, Do you not know that your bodies are a temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have received from God? 
You are not your own, but you were brought at a price. Therefore, honor God with your bodies. Praise the Lord, precious saints. Somebody say hallelujah. See, when this was written at this particular time, you've got to understand where Paul was coming from. There were many temples around, many pagan temples. There was also the temple of God. And these were places where people would seek a deity. They would seek gods where they thought that they lived and they would worship at these places. That's right. There were more even than places of worship, but there was also a belief that the presence of their God existed. So when Paul reminds us that we are temples of God's presence through the Holy Spirit. He is saying something quite profound. With the one living God, God lives in us. We are the places of God's dwelling. We are the holy temples. Not because we cleansed ourselves or made ourselves into some incredible dwelling place, but rather because God brought us and sanctified us with the price of Jesus Christ's life on the cross and through the power of the Holy Spirit bringing about the sanctified process. We are His purchased prime real estate, precious saints, so that His glorious presence can be seen in the world in which is around us as the place where God lives by his spirit we are challenged to honor and to glorify God with our bodies his temple you need to really ask the Lord what you put into your temple even the food we eat, even the things that we, medications and all the different things that we need to make a decision upon. We must always ask God, what is he telling us? So no matter how you may look at your physical appearance, remember this, you are holy because inside of you is the Holy Spirit. You are precious. Yes, you are worth dying for because the king of glory has made his home inside of you through the power of the Holy Spirit and you were bought with a price for there is earthen treasure within inside of you that only the Holy Spirit can bring to the surface precious saints I want you to believe that God has great plans for your life but remember, as you place God as center within your life, he will bring about what he wants to do. That's right. See, as the place where God lives by his spirit, we are challenged to honor and glorify God with our bodies, his temple. So no matter how you may look at yourself physically in that physical appearance, remember this. You have been chosen by God. That's right. And his son, the glorious king of glory, has made his home inside of you through the power of the Holy Spirit. God wants to touch you today. You are a temple of God. You are a temple of God. And you are beautiful in his sight precious saints. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you today because it reminds us of your incredible nearness to us, even within inside of us. Forgive us when we have not realized your presence is within us through the power of the Holy Spirit. Forgive us when we have devalued ourselves and our temple, our body as a temple of the holy presence of God. Please be glorified in who you are within us. Lord, we pray today that you may be glorified in what we say, in glorified in how we live and even what we think. 
Lord, to be glory to you alone within our lives. Holy Spirit, we welcome you within each of our lives today. Holy Spirit, we know that you are the counselor of truth, our help in times of need, and the one who fills us with the Spirit of God. Holy Spirit, we pray this very day to come into greater communion with each of us. Lord, we pray today we want to know you more. You so graciously work to intercede for all of the saints to the Father that we may know you more, but also to comfort us with your peace that goes beyond all understanding. Holy Spirit, please come today. Holy Spirit, today we ask for godly counsel and direction. Lord, we thank you, Lord Jesus, as it says in Psalm 37 verse 4, to delight ourselves in the Lord so we boldly seek to do your will today. Following the will and the heart of the Father, we know is the greatest desire for all those that are listening. For we know his plans are best for us, even when we cannot understand them. Oh Lord, give us contentment. Lord, because in the end, we know that it will bring glory to you. Holy Spirit, we praise you. And we thank you for the love lavished upon us. Holy Spirit, we seek and so earnestly crave to be in your presence, to feel the inner work of you in our own hearts and our minds. And Lord, give us comfort. Lord, in the truth and in the love. And Holy Spirit, we welcome you this day. Have your way today in each person. Meet each person at their point of need today. Those that need healing, bring healing, divine healing to them and their loved ones. For those that need deliverance, oh Lord, deliver them from all the power of the enemy. We thank you that you came to destroy the works of Satan. So Satan today, get your hands off God's property. That's right. They are God's hot property. So take your hands off them and return back to the pit of hell in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray for those that need provision. Oh Lord, that you would come and provide for their needs today. Oh Lord, I pray for those that are needing direction, that the Holy Spirit would lead and guide them and give them your peace, your shalom to guide them onto that path of righteousness. Lord, we thank you for the inner works of the Holy Spirit that operate also within our hearts and minds. So we graciously give comfort, truth, and love today to all those around us because of the love and comfort and truth and love that you've given unto us. Holy Spirit, we welcome you in this very day to lead us and to guide us in Jesus' mighty name. We pray and believe. Amen and amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Narrowpath Ministries in Perth, Western Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this utterance today, we encourage you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can also uh, follow us on Rumble. Go to our Telegram page. You'll need to email me specifically for the link so that you can join for all the uncensored content. And we also uh, encourage you to follow us on Facebook or Instagram. Go to our free website, repentancerevival.com. Precious Saints, in less than 10 to 9 days from now, there will be... The four days fasting starting on Thursday the 27th, going all the way to Sunday and finishing in the evening of the Sunday. Precious saints, you need to press in within this hour like never before. We know the Lord is coming back soon. I've been saying that every message, but we need to be prepared for what is to come also. So I encourage you to participate for that as we cross over into uh, February and things are going to start to heat up everywhere. So we need God more now than ever before. So from my family to yours, God bless you. We love you. We are praying for your precious saints. Shalom, shalom, shalom.